a volcanologist has warned that almost nothing can be done to counter the threat of an Yellowstone volcano's eruption of one of the world's supervolcanoes, and little can prevent the ensuing chaos. A large superstructure of volcanoes that spews at least a thousand times more material than a typical large volcano's when it erupts. Supervolcanoes that have erupted in the past are currently identified by large depressions in the grounds known as calderas. Eruptions, known as super eruptions, occur over a period of tens of thousands of years, with the most recent event occurring at Taupo on the northern island of New Zealand around 27,000 years ago. Although the possibility of another super eruptions in the near future is very real, some experts say there is nothing we can do to prevent a major disaster, and many calderas are not even monitored. A volcanologist at University College London said that the world's supervolcanoes are being monitored by authorities. Worryingly, supervolcanoes are so large that it is almost impossible to prepare for their eruption. When a danger like this becomes very big, you can't prepare well. We see very large earthquakes, the best thing you can do is try to build buildings that are less likely to collapse. You just have to hope to God that when an earthquake happens, the buildings stay standing, but of course, we see all over the world where buildings inevitably collapse after a regular earthquake. This scenario becomes especially bad when a city is hit by a natural disaster. However, with super eruptions in locations such as the Yellowstone Caldera in the US, entire countries can be enveloped in a thick haze of smoke and fine dust particles, causing the country to come to a standstill and normal activities to cease indefinitely. Imagine that Central America can no longer carry out its actions, wheat areas, and entire agricultural production areas will disappear. This is a big task that must be considered, there will be a large-scale migration to safer areas. There are hundreds of thousands of people living in areas directly affected by the Yellowstone eruption.